everybody. It's Mrs. Ramey coming to you from my home studio here. Hope you're doing well and you've been enjoying your time learning from home and that you're ready for some fun new art thinking today with me. Now, um, if you are have been able to finish your last two projects already, I want you to take a moment and look at your hands. These are the hands. These are your hands. I want you to look at your left hand and give yourself a high five for being a great artist and staying on top of your work, okay? I know it hasn't been easy. You've done a great job. If you've had some trouble um, figuring out your art projects, that's okay. It has not been easy for us to transition to learning through computers. So reach out to me. Let me know what you need to figure out how to get your work done. I'm very flexible. Even if your work isn't turning out perfectly, you can still fill out a Microsoft form to show me that you're trying it, and I'll give you credit for that, okay? The two projects that I want to see everybody finish were the pop-up card and the postcard. So check back, think about what you've turned in. If you're not sure, check with me. Um, if you need to finish one of these, do so. If you're done with all those, nice job, okay? For those of you who are done and or ready for some uh, some new art challenges, some fun art projects. I have an optional art project for you for this week. Yes, you heard me correctly, everybody. Optional, which means you don't actually have to do it and you don't have to turn it in. Um, it's just for those of you who want to uh, push yourselves a little bit to think more creatively, to be a little bit explorative, to have some fun, maybe to help bring some creativity into your learning from life learning from home life and um, and have some fun with that, okay? So this part is optional and I invite you to try it, to explore, to play around with it. Um, even though you don't have to turn it in, please feel free to send me photographs of your process and how it's going. Even if it doesn't work out, send me pictures. I still would love to see what great ideas you guys come up with, okay? Let's talk about the art project, okay? The optional art project for this week is going to be a um, what's called a kinetic art project. That is one that moves. Art that moves is something that sculptors have been um, working with and creating for about the last century or two. Um, a really great example of an artist is Alexander Calder. He made amazing mobiles, but you could also think of kinetic art or moving art as something as simple as a pinwheel or anything that has both an artistic component and a movement component. And there's a lot of really great examples of kinetic art online. The one that I'm going to challenge you to make today are a pair of walking feet. Now these walking feet are my first prototype. That's my first design. Um, they're not perfect, but I'll walk you through the entire thing. The goal here is to explore, to tinker or play around with the different pieces to see if you can make yours unique or better or faster or move differently and see if you can make yours work in a way um, that's fun for you, okay? Everybody's could turn out differently. So the idea is that all you would need to do would be to push this rolling center and the feet will actually move a little bit, which is pretty great. Um, and this has several different parts to it. I'll explain the different parts. All those parts are basically simple machines. And you might think to yourself, Mrs. Ramey, I can't make machines. But the thing is, you have machines that you're working with every single day. You might just not realize it. For example, this is a wheel. It's also an axle. A wheel and an axle are simple machines that move on an inclined plane. And you heard me correctly, inclined plane is any kind of ramp or wedge that creates a rolling, that creates the opportunity for something to roll. For example, here, this wheel, if I put it here, it's pretty much gonna stay still. It's not gonna go anywhere. But if I put it onto an inclined plane, it'll roll quite a bit, which is amazing. Um, scissors are a kind of lever. Oh, I have some right here. This is a simple machine here where I move these two fingers, these two edges down and up, 
and the other edges that are connected actually move with them. That's called a lever. So there's all kinds of simple machines. Those are just a few of them. And these simple machines are in everyday objects all around you. One of the first things that you need is something shaped like this. Who can tell me the shape of this? It's also the same shape as this. It's also the same shape as this. What's this shape? Do you know it? Cylinder. Yeah, so you need some kind of cylinder that can act as the central part here, okay? So you need a cylinder. Whatever you find in your house will work just fine. And then you also need the two axles, this and this. And you'll need two of them because they need to be set at different spots inside of your cylinder. So they go like this, like the pedals of your bike. So you could use pencils. You could use, I've seen people use Q-tips. You could use uh, whatever it is that works for you is perfectly fine. You will need tape, you will need some scissors, and you will need some kind of paper for drawing out your feet, okay? Now your feet can be almost anything that you'd like. You will also need something like a straw. Now I don't have any straws in my house, um, so I'm just actually gonna make some out of junk mail. Other than rolled up paper could I use to create this straw like structure to hold my feet onto this part hmm. caps I could use caps right because then I could put my stick inside the cap and that will roll so one of the best parts of working through this exploration of a kinetic artwork, like the walking feet, is thinking out loud and trying out bits and pieces to see what pieces will work best to make yours move. So for that, I'm going to invite my favorite fellow thinker. It's my favorite thinking buddy. Hello. All right, so we are going to each of us attempt to make the walking feet here using a variety of different things. We'll compare and we'll think out loud. So what we're doing right now is prototyping. To build a prototype is to explore and tinker with different kinds of designs to figure out which one is the best one. There's a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of fixing mistakes. There's a lot of trying new things out, not knowing what's gonna happen. And, um, and we're gonna prototype live with you here, yeah. okay? Okay, so we're putting these on the inside of our cylinder and this is important we have to put them lopsided from each other. So we have to put one a little bit higher than the other one so that as they turn, one goes down and one goes up. And that's what creates that cool walking motion. I've also found that when I'm taping this down, I kind of have to hug the tape in around my chopstick. Because if I don't, there are some gaps where mm -hmm. it's not really sticking. Yeah, because these are round and we sort of have to wrap, wrap the tape around them. I might even add an extra piece of tape for stability. that I'm using for my 
my walking feet, I made a pair of red shoes here like this, and I decorated them with marker and colored pencil. What did you do, Mr. Rainey? I decided to make frog feet because my tape cylinder that I chose was green, and then I colored my chopsticks green, so I made a simple frog foot with three toes, and I got some nail polish and made, <laughs> I, I colored the frog's toes too. They're still drying just a little bit. He actually used nail polish, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, red coral. <laughs> she had it laying around. Side. Great. All right, so now we need to attach these to our walking mechanism. Right. And the way that we do that is by creating a kind of sleeve. Let me show you one with the duck foot example on the back of the foot. Now this sleeve is a rolled up piece of paper, but you can use a straw that you've cut, or you can use a cap um, to a pen or to a marker, whatever it is that you uh, are able to find in your house. In fact, the more creative, the better. What are you gonna use for this? I'm just going to use pieces of paper rolled okay. up. It's gotta fit over top, and maybe that's a question. How big is too big? Yeah, you don't want it too tight so that it rubs up against it, but you don't want it so loose that it just wiggles off either. So right. Somewhere in the middle. And play around, see which one you could find that works best. I'm going to be using pen caps because I haven't used a cap yet, and I think it might be um, a good solution. So I'm going to tape that to the back of my shoe. So somewhere in the middle, but try some different distances, okay? I'm going to tape mine down. My feet are ready. I'm gonna put my shoes on. Loop. Loop. I'm ready to test mine. I am ready too. <laughs> okay, your legs are really long. <laughs> yeah, they are. Let me get my little tiny feet out of your way. <laughs> you try it. Yours is adorable. I like how goofy this looks. <laughs> Are they so, sliding off? Look, it's it's almost so high with this roll mm, of tape mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. my feet maybe should have been longer. <laughs> All I have to do is move this back, yeah. I think, a little bit. And that should keep it from flipping over. Those little adjustments make a big difference. Yeah, they do. That is so much smoother than the duck feet. You're right, it is. Ooh! I, I, it seems to work. Yeah, it seems to work. Super smooth I love frog. It. <laughs> All right, let me try mine. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. See, mine doesn't have as smooth as of a roll, so I'm going to actually use my inclined plane mm. to give it a little bit of a boost to see if it will. <laughs> roll. Yeah, so this one needs a little bit more of a an incline. <laughs> and it's rolling pretty well. It doesn't seem to be sliding off. It looks great. I love it. It's so good. So there are so many different ways to do this. Yeah. And there are so many different parts that you can play around with and adjust to make yours walk differently. So we have very different style pieces with a variety of different objects, yeah. but they both work in the exact same way. Yeah. And it was fun exploring and, and problem solving aloud with you. Yeah. So all these different parts change the nature or the way that the feet themselves move which is cool. And you can go ahead and explore a little bit with all the different parts of yours and then share, if you can, the different things you've used and your success or failure if you end up not getting it to move you the way you wanted to. Yeah. Um, you saw how much we were laughing. It's sort of a fun, uh, a fun exploration that even if you can't quite 
perfected, it's still a fun thing to, to play around with.